Good afternoon. I am honored to speak on behalf of Palo Verde College's cohort today. Palo Verde College's OFAR cohort include me, Jennifer Fox Campbell, Anthropology Instructor and Co-Chair of History, Social, and Behavioral Sciences, Christopher Cardona, Full-Time ASL Instructor, Tom Jones, Full-Time History Instructor, Laura Kramer, Full-Time Art Instructor, and Serafina Redwine, Full-Time Psychology Instructor. Located in the desert directly along the Colorado River, Palo Verde College serves approximately 3,854 students each year. Our community is very diverse due in part to its proximity to two Native American reservations and also its location near two prisons. Furthermore, the community of Blythe is an impoverished farming community with a large Latinx population. In spite of the diversity of our student population, it is especially challenging for Palo Verde College faculty to provide all students with a curriculum founded upon inclusion and anti-racism when much of the student population is physically and socially isolated. Unlike other campuses in the state of California, Palo Verde College offers the largest variety of correspondence IEM, which is an intranet-based course, and ITV courses for incarcerated students, in addition to face-to-face -face and online course offerings for our local students. I'm going to begin by talking a little bit about what the cohort did and then talk about the challenges we confronted. Serafina Redwine teaches psychology and she introduced a lot of her students to diverse psychologists. She also assigned her students a writing assignment where they needed to research diverse members of psychology and explain what their con contributions were to the field and why it's important to pay attention to them. She also highlighted the Black History Month event that took place on campus and explained to her students why it was important for them to attend, mainly because she wanted to impart information to them about um, diverse and especially Black inventors. In art, ASL, and history, the instructors reported they applied anti-racism to the classroom by introducing them to diverse researchers in their respective field. Um, comparable to that of Serafina. They also adopted OER textbooks to their courses to ensure that students would not be confronted with financial barriers while taking their courses. And finally, Christopher Carbone, Cardona, an ASL instructor, has contributed to the production of new OER textbooks for ASL instruction. In my courses in anthropology, I also introduce my students to diverse anthropologists in the field. Um, I use OERs in my classroom. Um, I use them in my cultural anthropology, biological anthropology, and my religion, witchcraft, and magic course. And finally, I applied um, assignments in the classroom for students to learn more about anti-racism. One such assignment is located on this slide, uh, the unilineal evolution slash social Darwin assignment. For those that do not know, unilineal evolution is an early theory in anthropology that dictated that cultures um, only, they only um, become more di more complex through a, a unilineal cycle, meaning they start they start simple and then they gradually get more complex, which of course is not the case. Um, and social Darwinism is a spin on Dar Darwin's theories, and it's applied to cultures where they tried ex where early anthropologists tried saying that simply because a society is simple, it is justifiable for society to take over them, thus leading to the African slave trade and um, horrific events like the Holocaust as well. So I wanted my students to explain those concepts and also look at what traces of them still exist today. That way they can compare it to the contemporary world. In addition to that, we also did some outreach at the community level and, well, mainly PVC community level. So, for example, we presented um, information about OFAR during Flex Day to the entire academic community of PVC. We contributed to a IDEAA website that's been housed in our it's housed in our library, and we provided OFAR resources. And finally, several members of 
the cohort have agreed to take part in writing and drafting OERs through the zero textbook cost grant that is provided to us at the state level. Palo Verde College serves two local prisons, Chuckawalla State Valley, excuse me, Chuckawalla Valley State Prison and Ironwood State Prison, in addition to 17 outlying prisons across the state of California. Palo Verde College provides rising scholar students with about 11 academic programs and over 100 courses each semester. Given the proximity of half, excuse me, you meant approximately half of Palo Verde College's student population is incarcerated, much focus is provided to improving rising scholar student experience. While a few courses are offered in face-to-face -face modalities, most courses offered to rising scholars are correspondence courses. Correspondence education is a mail-based system where packets of coursework is sent to rising scholar students at the beginning of each semester. Students are instructed how to complete the course in a self-paced fashion. However, to ensure that students are provided with substantive feedback from faculty, students are expected to submit at least seven contacts to faculty over the course of the 18-week semester. Contacts are assignments or exams that are sent to rising scholar students to complete based on a set due date. Because correspondence education is predominantly self-paced, faculty must complete all course materials and assignments prior to the commencement of the semester to ensure that rising scholar students are provided with the materials by the first day of classes. Furthermore, due to the unique nature of correspondence education, rising scholar students have limited communication with faculty relying on written communication via contacts as effective communication with instructors. Because students are provided with packets of coursework before the semester begins, implementing anti-racism into their coursework is an onerous task. In a face-to-face -face or online course, the ease at which anti-racism can be incorporated in coursework generally supersedes that of correspondence-based education. In lieu of incorporating anti-racism into lectures, class discussions, and class assignments, faculty must rely solely on incorporating these concepts into class-based assignments. Furthermore, faculty are expected to provide no more than 100 pages of printable content to rising scholar students. Consequently, faculty feel the burden of effectively applying these concepts to rising scholar students with limited resources. However, in spite of these challenges, many members of the PVC OFAR team sought to apply anti-racism to correspondence courses that will begin in fall 2023. We primarily apply them to assignments that include supplemental readings to ensure that students are provided with the tools they need to, success, to be successful in class, the classroom and learn how to combat racism in higher education. This is just one example of the assignments that have been provided to students next semester. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great day and I'm welcome to answering any questions you might have.